Welcome to highlights of the World Swimming Championships, FINA Melbourne 2022, supported by Nikon. Stand by for the best action from the opening night of finals in Australia. And we'll begin at the end, because the Splash and Dash session ending 4x100 meter freestyle relay finals produced two spectacular events. The women were up first. After the USA and Canada shared gold at last year's World Short Course Championships in Abu Dhabi, both nations were back and seeking to claim the title outright themselves. But the hosts possessed an enviable lineup of Olympic champions. The USA, though, led from the opening 25. Leg after leg, they remained ahead and under world record pace. The Australians were building momentum, though. Moments later, it was time for the men. European champions Italy were the favourites, and in truth, despite challenges from the USA and Australia, their early lead never looked under any real threat. Thomas Cechon decided he wanted more, though. It is the Italians out in front. Italy, the world record standing at 303.03. And it is a new world record. A new world record going the way of Italy. Earlier in the evening, the home crowd were hoping for a golden start in the women's 400m freestyle final. Their prospects and those of Lani Pallister were boosted after the withdrawal of world record holder Li Bingji earlier in the day. But the Australian would still face a strong rival in New Zealand's Erica Fairweather, and it was the Kiwi swimmer who led early on. There was little to pick between the pair until the closing 100 metres, when Pallister kicked her way clear and claimed gold for the host nation. In the men's 1500 metre freestyle final, Gregorio Paltinieri was the overwhelming favourite. He had challenges from Japan and Norway early on in the event, but ultimately the Olympic world and European champion had too much class for his rivals. Day one also featured women's and men's 200 metres individual medley finals. American duo Kate Douglas and Alex Walsh have enjoyed, but also endured, a fair few battles in recent years. And this was another fascinating encounter. Douglas began well in the butterfly leg before Walsh took the lead after the backstroke. From there, though, Douglas regained her advantage, and she took the title. Walsh second, Australia's Kaylee McKeown third. In the men's event, Daya Sato of Japan was looking for gold at a sixth successive World Short Course Championships. This race, though, would belong to a rising star. Matthew Sates, often a winner in the FINA World Cup, now a FINA World Champion, taking the win ahead of the USA's Carson Foster and Canadian Finley Knox. It was a brilliant opening night of Melbourne 2022 action in the pool. We'll expect even more on day two.